this is Maria. Welcome to my channel. I'm passionate about creating kid-friendly spaces inside and outside of our house. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two, a toddler, two years old, and a baby, four months old. So I have to create the spaces that keep them entertained and I can incorporate both of them in our daily routines. I'm also very inspired by Montessori approach and bring it to a lot of my activities and the way I design the spaces. I'm going to link all of the video tours below if you're interested to check out our nurseries, toddler room, and playroom. Enjoy! tour it's not a traditional nursery there is no rocker no crib so just get some ideas enjoy this room is full of DIYs smaller brushes this is a one inch one we also have about two and three inch ones as well because usually I do my murals with watercolors but this time around we're using the um, wall paint just because it's much easier to cover and I'm gonna look at the colors now picks the mountains in the very back are gonna be colonial revival gray then leisure blue then indigo batik and the snow on the mountains will be snow we're about to start working on our mountain wall mural over here we have a chunk from Cory Barnton. Right now it's rest at the table, but it's gonna grow with him and stay hopefully till college. Over here I have this nice Good Morning, Good Night book. It adds a nice pop of color. I like the green and it's very cute and sweet book. And over here I have a decoration. It's a paper mache house. You can buy them at your local craft store. I bought them at Michael's. They're really cheap and you can paint them to match any color scheme. So we did a DIY on this bed and it actually has been featured on a few forums, so check it out. But the bedding is from Puerto Rican Barn Kids and all the decorative pillows as well. The reason why we don't have a crib is because Scarlett have never used it. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about it not being a traditional nursery. We don't have a rocking chair and the bed is on the floor. In Montessori approach, your child is supposed to wake up and you give them time to look around and you don't put them in the crib because that's not how the kids explore their space. So we've, uh, we do have a little bit of the railings here, it was just uh, something that I wanted to have, but the idea is you can actually have just the mattress on the floor, and you have a little bit of the rug for your child to come down to make sure that they don't hurt themselves. Over here is another DIY project that uh, my husband and I made, uh, those are the hexagon shelves. We decided just to do two, you can do as many as you want, they're really easy to make, and uh, it took probably about a day, you just pre-cut all the 1x4 boards to uh, 6 pieces each, the angle is 30 degrees and then you stain it and sit it overnight and then you can place them. As the decorations, I have another a paper mache figure, it's a bird, a bear and a star. This is a box and it, he can play with it later as well. Uh, over here we have a rug from Puerto Rican Kids, I'm gonna link the exact name below. And this is my amazing friend from Home Goods. Uh, Probably was about $20 and it matches perfectly. The theme of our room is outdoor adventure, so I really wanted to bring in the nature touch and match up the um, environment. So we found this branch in the little piece of wilderness next to our house and attached it to the wall with monkey hooks. The watercolors, I painted those and these are his forest friends. The rocker is from Pottery Barn Kids. This is another DIY project. The letters are actual moss. I bought them on Amazon. And the dresser is the camp dresser from Pottery Barn Kids. And now I'm gonna put in a little video of how I hang the letters because it was a little bit tricky. Hey guys, this is another project for um, the nursery. The name of Justin is from this moth letters. It's actual moth. The way I did it, just as a tip, it's, uh, I use the tape, just a painter's tape, to outline where I want the top of the letters. And then my husband bought those hooks. They're called monkey hoops. Hoops. Monkey 
right there, monkey hook. And I just push them on the wall and then hang those letters on them. And that's how it all looks. This is a Montessori inspired play area. The mirror is to give the child the view in the room and to see themselves as well. All the toys are accessible to them. This is how the room looks to our little man from his perspective. You want to sit in the middle of your room and spin around to see the room with the child's eyes. It's very important to make them feel comfortable in their space. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and share and click that notifications button. Next week's video is going to be Baby Essentials and then I'm filming another toddler activities video. So I hope to see you soon.